So as you guys know, one of our favorite things to do when we're at an RV park is walk around and check out everybody else's setup to see what they have outside, what they're running, if they got different antennas, just because it gives you so many different ideas. So I'm really excited because today, not only do we get to do that with another full-time family, but we're gonna check out the inside of the trailer and get little tips and tricks from them that they've learned over the past six months since they've been full-time RVing. Hey guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. We sold our house, and we are traveling across the country with our kids. My name's Goose, and this is Maverick. Come join us. And get this, the thing that's really exciting about this family, not only are they a full-time family, but they have six kids, two dogs, one cat, in a travel trailer. That's right all of them living full-time in a travel trailer, and we get to check out how they've made that work over the past six months. So let's check it out. How are hey. you? I'm Eric. This is Corbin. I'm David. I'm Ashley and this is Jenna. I'm Sam and this is Pepper. I'm Naomi and this is Zoe. I'm Hannah and this is Princess Buttercup. You guys all fit in there? <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so for real, this is Out of Goshen and they are another YouTube travel channel and they've been traveling for about five or six months, is that correct? Yeah. Full time. Months. All in, how long is the travel trailer? 28 feet. A 28 foot Pioneer travel trailer. Crazy. So they're going to go ahead and show us some of their uh, things that they've learned over the past six months traveling full time that maybe will help you guys if you're thinking about it. Oh, good boy. Good boy. I forget, what was his name again? Or her name? Uh, Princess Buttercup. Princess Buttercup, you guys. Anybody get the reference? Comment down below what the reference is. Okay, so we sent all the kids to the park to play because it's hard to get anything done with seven or eight kids around. But let me introduce you to the two adults here. They already said the names, so we got Eric and Ashley, yep. and we're gonna go ahead and let them show you around the trailer. So why don't we go ahead and start outside, guys? Okay. Yep, outside's actually the perfect place to start because outdoor kitchen is, well, kind of my area. What we like about this camper especially is we can really spend the time out here to not heat up the camper. Especially today is really, really hot outside. And uh, so we can use the propane, but we actually try to use a lot of electric appliances too, like we have an Instant Pot and an air fryer, that type of stuff too. Love my outdoor kitchen. So I'm very jealous, we don't have one of those. <laughs> we looked at a couple of trailers guys that had the outdoor kitchens and whatnot, but we ended up falling in love with the model we have. And to compensate, we do have obviously the barbecue, which we love, so we try and cook outside when we can. But it is pretty cool to have this outdoor setup with an outdoor fridge and all that. Whenever we get to a camp, we, uh, it's kind of like a, an army. We come out and everybody has a specific job. We put our tables up, put our outdoor appliances out here, bring out any type of tubs, basically a lot of play toys for the kids to have since this basically is our home as we travel around. So even though it looks like we have a lot of stuff out here, and we probably do, uh, most of it folds up nicely. So when we actually hit the road, everybody has their job, we pack it up and off we go. So over here we have, I don't know if you have an air fryer. This, no. I love these things. We try to use a lot of electric stuff because we don't do a lot of boondocking. We try to stay in campgrounds more than anything else. And of course they have all, all you can eat electricity. So we try to use electricity and not use up our propane, propane as much as possible. Cool. I'll be honest with you, we have fifth wheel envy. We wanted a fifth wheel or actually even like a class A. But since we have so many people, we have to have eight seats for everybody. And the only way we could think of doing it was having a van like this. We have a 12-seater 12 12 -seater Chevy Express. This is basically a one-ton van. It's like a one-ton pickup in a van style. Is it a diesel? No, it's not. And honestly, oh. if we had the diesel, it'd be even better. But uh, we actually owned the van before we bought the travel trailer. And uh, this has done amazingly well. So now we had to be careful and make sure we bought the camper weight-wise that would actually fit with this, it, yeah. with the parameters and stuff. But it actually wasn't hard finding one. A lot of the newer campers are pretty lightweight. So he's saying he has a fifth wheel envy. I honestly have storage envy with this thing. <laughs> they have so much extra space in the back of this where they can fit things that we just don't have the option of. I mean, I fit Goose's dirt bike in the back of the, the bed of the truck and whatnot, but the amount of storage you can fit in these 15 passenger vans is impressive. 
cool little thing guys. Uh, we were talking the night around the uh, campfire. These guys actually lived in a sailboat for a while. So speaking of cramped quarters, this probably feels spacious. This is like, huge. This is like the Hyatt compared to a sailboat. But boat. it's crazy what they've <laughs> gone through. So definitely, if you guys haven't, obviously they'll be linked up down below. Go check them out and you can see even more of their adventures and whatnot of how they have been traveling across this country doing uh, homesteading, right? You're looking for- Right. We're ultimately looking for our homestead, um, kind of like a farm that we can plant all our plants and just uh, settle down. We're not going to stop traveling once we get there, but we want to have a place that we actually call home. And right now, we're well, we're actually homeless, and we'll keep <laughs> we'll keep going around until we find that place. One of my favorite things about RV tours is getting to see what they've done that make it more livable. Little tips and tricks that they've found that is just turning a vacation vehicle into a more of a home. And so uh, that's what I'm going to ask Eric to show you guys now the things they've done around here that have made it so that they can function with eight people yep. and two dogs and a cat. It's insane <laughs> in this little space. So what all have you done, Eric? What have yeah, you got to show us? And that's exactly it. I mean, you understand the manufacturers want to save as much money as possible in manufacturing. So one of the biggest surprises I had was on this bunk, there was no ladder. I mean, to me, that seems like it would be a, a uh, included item, but it wasn't. This ladder uh, off Amazon, I think I only paid like 50 bucks for it or something, probably even less. And I was kind of skeptical, but a lot of the reviews were good. And they have all kinds of different ways you can fasten it. And you just cut the legs to where you want it so you'll be able to climb up. That's the first thing I did was got this ladder to be able to hook it up. Secondly, and this is going to be kind of funny, this shelf is actually not the way it's supposed to be. It's one of those decorative shelves. If you kind of picture this thing flipped upside down, this is like the metal that goes underneath to make it have a ne nice decorative look. Really? But we didn't need decorative. We want to make it so like our llama doesn't fall out and hit people. <laughs> so what I did was I bought some of these and flipped them upside down and secured them to the wall and noticed that things don't fall out. And this is the best thing ever. But one of the biggest things we bought that we love, and you could look right here on the wall inside the bathroom, we bought this from Ikea. And this thing was amazing for holding everybody's uh, stuff. And it's funny because I bought these so everybody had their own little cubby. I didn't get one. The girls took it over real quick. <laughs> Even though this camper came with a huge TV, which we didn't want in the first place, but it came with this wall, which picture it was practically empty. The only thing that was here was this shelf and this mirror. It was set up to put another TV in here, just in case you didn't like the big 55 inch one in the first place. And it was just empty nothingness here and here. So I went through for the month, just trying to find as much as I could to be able to make this work. These baskets were actually intended to stack up on a countertop and I made it so I was able to wire them together and secure the whole thing to a wall to become a nice fruit and vegetable holder. And up here, we love tea, we love baking. So we actually put these racks up and like here's my favorite Earl Grey jar. And so we can actually have all the spices and teas and everything we need to be able to uh, function throughout the day. All right, so in the bedroom, not anything like significant. We put in a TV and a bed topper, but one of the coolest things we put in were these little fans. No pun intended. <laughs> nice, yeah, exactly. And uh, we bought eight of these, so everybody had one, and they're actually 12 volt fans. Okay, you can turn on right there. And uh, I really went through the reviews to find one that actually put a lot of air out, but we bought these not for the fact of simply just general living, even though they work that way too, but we're thinking about boondocking. You know, when we stop, we want to actually have fans sometimes because you know you're not going to have air conditioning when you boondock but these little 12 volt fans i'm working on wiring these so they go off the house battery so we can always uh keep nice and cool at night while we're stopping places that would i would love that in our trailer very cool all right the biggest question we get is where in the world does everybody sleep so i'll show you guys where everybody sleeps and it's not really that crowded so up top is sam that was sam and david's but they both grew a lot in the last six months and so we had to have david move jenna and hannah sleep in that bunk and these are both full-size bunks and then our daughter naomi the oldest she sleeps on the couch it folds out to a um full-size bed Oh, so that's, that's way easier than ours yes. to pull it out. Yeah, that's cool. And then David sleeps here now. And then with the extra cushions, the baby sleeps on the floor. It makes actually into a toddler mattress, which is really cool. And then we have a short queen in the front of the camper. I love the little cat bed back there. <laughs> the cat actually does sleep with the girls. Now we looked at a few different campers, campers obviously, but we picked this one. I mean, first of all, we found it was kind of just very elegant looking, but that wasn't the, the seller. One of the biggest things we saw, we actually saw one camper that actually had like a quad bunk in the back, like a bunkhouse for the kids, yeah, those were nice. which was mm -hmm. awesome. And we were close to getting that, but the main selling point, the reason we got this one instead is the amount of storage in this particular camper is huge. Let me show you, just give you an idea of what we're looking at. Like each of the three, three of the kids anyway, this is actually their areas. Like this is our son, Sam, Mr. 12 year olds, all his clothes fit in there. 
and this is like two more of the kids here. Uh, my oldest daughters, who are 17 and 15, they share underneath the couch slash bed here, then each actually have half the stuff as far as storage goes. Underneath the bunks, all of that is huge down there, and we actually bought tubs that fit in there specifically, and each kid has a big tub and a small tub to be able to store, you know, toys for the younger ones, art for my older ones, that type of stuff. Do those, does that go all the way back to the window? All the way back. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that all is nice. It That's is. huge right there. It is, and we, we really had to shop around to make sure we found the tubs. Before we actually moved on board, we had about a month, and we shopped around to find the tubs that would fit perfectly in there, so that way they would actually... We wouldn't have any wasted space, basically. Nice. The biggest thing that I wanted for our family is to have dinner together when it is cool outside. So this wraparound dinette set was the biggest seller for me. Um, I liked it because it has storage literally around the entire thing. So we have extra things in there. We store flour. Um, I think we have Coke and other things like that in there. Oh, wow. You guys weren't kidding about flour. Is that a giant bag of flour? What is that? <laughs> yeah. Holy we have, we moly. Have bread, we have a bread machine that we use. <laughs> okay, guys. I still can't get over how many people they fit in that trailer, but it is so impressive. Uh, if you guys want to go check out their channel, I will go ahead and link it up down below or maybe up there in the iCard. But until next time, guys, don't forget, stay positive. Get out there. Life is an adventure. So make some memories.